welcome to our first let's play in quite a long time okay i know the music is probably like really loud um let me finish the introduction and then i'll hopefully fix that but hi we are currently going to be playing you will not remain um i saw this on steam and i was quite interested in it it looks really cute and um you know i just kind of needed a little short game to get back into <laughs> filming let's plays so let's get started this game was made on the land of the Jerry, Wurrung, people of the Kulin n Nation. We pay our respects to elders, posts, present and emerging. Sovereignty was never ceded. Colonial violence never stopped. You Will Not Remain is a story about isolation that contains dark themes and deals with mental health issues. This include, but are not limited to, anxiety, depression, disassociation, and suicidal ideation. Alright. Controls... There is nothing to turn the volume down. Okay. <laughs> Guess we'll start. You Will Not Remain is a short game and can be played in one sitting. There is no saving. Can I? Where am I? Hello? Oh. It's time to wake up. Where am I? Hello? Where am I? Oh, there I am. Again, how many more agains will you have? How long have you been here? Does it matter? Okay, I can use West. I was making sure I could use West. Okay, let's see. Oh! F changes the size of the image. Okay. How do I interact with something? mouse is gone. What are my controls? I'm hitting buttons until one pops up. Nope, that just changes the size. again. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Can you guys guess what button it was? The space key. Is it getting bigger or was it always that size? If you were prone to poetry, you'd always you'd almost say it was beautiful in a fa uh, fatalistic sort of way. But you're not haven't been for some time. You run out of pretty metaphors for awful things. I will say the one thing about this game I wish I would fix is like the music volume because I feel like it's so loud but I can't control it. There's not much else to do. You could walk circles around the apartment or you could go back to bed. Bark, bark! <laughs> is that a dog? Impossible. It's been weeks since you've been stuck here. You'd have surely heard it before this. Bark, bark, bark. Oh. He is loud. Hello. Better go see what it is, just in case. Come on, open the door. You know you can. Can't you? You can do this. Come on. Like saying the words will help. <laughs> just do it. It's wrong. Everything is wrong. You don't belong here. You need to get back inside. <laughs> it's only down the hall. You can do this. Alright, let's go down the hall. Small steps. It's just down the hall. <laughs> bark, bark! Oh! Dog's days aren't over. <laughs> There's something wrong with this apartment. <laughs> is that a dog? 
but it doesn't look like any dog you've seen before. It's thin, skin stretched tight across ribs, long body all bones and hard angles. Hey, it's okay, I'm not here to hurt you. That's right, everything is okay. Do you want to come with me? Is that a yes? I want to see what this is. Okay, we can't interact with that. Hi, puppy. Whoa. The dog jumps forwards before you can react. You brace for pain and instead feel the drag of its tongue across your chin. It pants happily as it tries to lick every inch of your face. Aww. Whoa, down. It drops to all fours, looking obediently up at you, tongue lolling out of a mouth bisected by wickedly sharp teeth. Well, it's, th it's this way, I guess. Are they gonna follow me now? You're glad to leave. Something is wrong here. A new kind of emptiness. No bed, no chairs, no life. How did the dog even get here? When the two of you leave, it'll be like nothing has ever been here at all. The dog follows at your heels, nose sniffing furiously at the air. Bark? Just a little further. Oh my god, we got a dog! Aww. Alright, let's head back to our room. The dog runs in ahead of you, tail wagging so hard it makes a loud thump when it slaps the wall. Glad to see you like it. The leaves are drooping, you should water it. You fill the watering can and take it to the plant. You soak the base, hoping it's both enough and not too much at the same time. You've never been good with plants, and sometimes trying too hard is what kills them. I remember I had like a cactus once, and I was like, I watered it like a normal plant. Although a cactus is meant to be like a desert plant, so what you're actually supposed to do is fucking just drown a cactus in water for like a couple seconds, not too much, like, but you drown it. Physically, you dump it in water hold it under there for a minute and then you pull it out and then you don't water it for weeks because that's naturally how a cactus functions but i was always so nervous that even just a tiny bit of water would kill it uh they ended up dying but <laughs> i never said i had a green thumb you still have plenty of grounds an instant when you're de desperate you haven't even gone through all the apartments on this floor making it Making it is as much ritual as it is comfort. You cradle the cup in your hands, warmth seeping into your fingertips. It grows cold as you stare at the sink, the ceiling, the strange shapes your hands make around porcelain. You pour it down the sink, wash the cup before putting it away. Maybe tomorrow will be easier. One step at a time. Channel after channel of nothing. Can I walk past you? Uh, let me see what you want, though, actually. Hello. This is enough excitement for one day. It's time to go to sleep. Arf. Bed. Arf. I guess you're sleeping with me. Actually, I want to see what's outside real quick. Just one second. Because it still seems to be what we're able to do. I can't tell if that's, like, smoke or a giant monster. Either way, I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, let's go to bed. You peel back the covers and slide into bed. The dog is a warm, sprawling mass above you, content to be pushed around as you make yourself comfortable. When you've settled into the sheets, it lays its head across your neck, warm, metallic breath lulling you to sleep. Whoa. You're dreaming again. You remember being worried about her. You remember waiting anxiously at the door. You remember how the apartment still smelt of her for weeks. The sweetness of her perfume lingering in the sheets. They don't smell like her anymore. Oh, fuck, dude. I know there's knocking, but what's this? Oh! Video killed the radio star! <laughs> radio static. <clears throat> no. Stay? No. You can't do this again. If you don't think about it, it's like it never happened. Stay inside, please. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. <laughs> I'm awake. I love our character's design. Okay, I'm up. Bark. That's certainly one way to be woken up. You can't complain, though. Not when it saved you from... Bark, bark. Right. You have a dog now. A very strange looking dog. Alright. 
I like our character design. I think it's someone wearing a mask. Maybe? Or I'm just not understanding the pixels. But I think it is a mask. You water the plant? Has it gotten bigger? <clears throat> it's not dead. Maybe that means something. Sorry if I cough a lot during this. I just, ugh. My throat. You make coffee, just like every other morning. You cradle the cup in your hands, staring at the walls and the cage of your fingers around the cup until the liquid cools. Just like every other morning. But this time, something is different. The dog is here, looking more at home than you've ever felt. The coffee is cold, but you drink it anyway, bitter all the way down. Bark, bark. Are you hungry? Bark, bark. You're lucky we don't have any neighbors. All right, let's feed him. You get it water, then fill a bowl with what's in the fridge. Patience, sausages, and double toasted bread. You hope it's good. When you set it down, the dog lunges desperately towards the food. Munch, munch. It's eating so fast you barely see it chew. Better not throw that up. Well, you fed the dog, may as well feed yourself. You cook with whatever you can find, thankful for the electric stove top. You eat from the pan, standing over the stove. No one's here to judge you. Bark! You've already fed the dog. What do they want? Bark, bark! Let's see what's outside first. Do our one last thing. Anything to check? Nope. Alright, let's go. Hi! Fine. You wanna leave? Okay, you're the boss. Alright, I guess let's head out. It's easier to manage the terror that climbs up your spine when the dog is so happy to be outside. Where are we going? Hold your horses! Had like a little heart on it. That's cute. <laughs> oh, we're going upstairs or downstairs? One of the two. You've never been up here. Arf. Oh, that's it's. You're worried if you stare too long, you might fall in. Bark. The dog stares at you, imploring. For a moment, its eyes flash violet. No, you're imagining things. It's just a dog. Throw the ball. Message received. Alright, let's throw the ball. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. You can almost ignore the lilac glow when you're playing fetch, forgetting for a moment that vast, otherworldly thing stretching through the sky. Go get it. Thank you. The dog doesn't seem worried about it. Go get it. <laughs> We're just playing fetch. <laughs> what time is it? Noon? Evening? Probably midday. At least one of them. Maybe even all of them. I think that's enough for one day. Wine. We can come back tomorrow. Bark. All right. Someone's in a rush. Can we go back? Oh, I'm guessing just to view it. Alright. It's like our balcony, I think. You're just allowed to view it, but nothing too fancy. Alrighty. Let's go get our dog back inside. Hi, buddy. Let's go. Didn't take you long to figure out home. <laughs> the dog looks proud of itself. Okay, then. You're so tired. When was the last time your lungs had tasted fresh air? You can't remember. I'm sorry. I think that's all I have for today. Guess this is my life now. What's outside? Oh, I'm guessing this is like a balcony. I think it's meant to be a balcony. Let's lay down. You crawl under the covers. You still haven't washed them. Not since. The dog lays atop of you, heavier than expected, seeing as it's skin and bone. It cuddles into you, knife-long teeth a whisper from your throat. You can feel its heartbeat through the blanket, the gentle expanding of its chest beneath your hand. Hope we're dream dreaming again. You wish this was over. 
I'm guessing the only option is to go to the radio. Stay inside. If you don't let them in, they can't get inside. Silence. No sound. No thought. You type in her number into your phone. You know it off by heart. The sound of the buttons are a familiar melody. It rings out. You try again and again and again. Nothing. Miles and miles of nothing. Maybe she's fine. You try to convince yourself. Don't let anyone in. That isn't already inside. She... She has to be inside. Maybe already downstairs, just in time? Just in time? Oh god, <laughs> we're awake now. I have a feeling this is about, like, um, a relationship that probably didn't end well. And the constant, like, feel of wanting to get back with them, but, like, knowing that's never gonna happen. Just the constant feel of longing. Okay, I'm up. Work. Alright, let's do our- let's do our daily stuff. When you touch the soil, it's bone dry. It seems like it's always thirsty. A need so deep it couldn't be uh, sl slaked by an ocean. You used to know something about need. Now you won't let yourself remember what it means to need anything, let alone want it. Oof. First things first. Coffee. You make it, hold the cup until the liquid cools. You look down at it, foreign in your unfamiliar hands. You pour it down the sink. You win some. You lose some. Bark. Alright, let's feed the dog. Here you go. You're slowly getting used to living with the dog. How long has it been now? We can't remember. You should probably name them. What should we name you? What's your name? You can't keep calling them dog after all. That's very helpful. Um, how about Rex? Wine. Uh, marble? Wine. Marble sink? Wine. Gas stove? Wine. Um, okay. Shank? Like, the item? <laughs> like a knife? Bark? Lamb shank? Bark. Lamb shank? Really? Bark. Alright, you're the boss. The newly named Lamb shank looks absurdly pleased with himself. <sighs> Fine. I do want to see what's on the balcony. I mean, I'm a completionist, so I always gotta check. See if anything's updated. <laughs> Alright, let's head outside. Come on, Leah. Lamb shank. Bark. I really like the mask on this character. Bark. Let's go play some fetch. Nothing has changed. It's like a big bird, almost. The sky is... It's there. Don't think about it. Let's play fetch, huh? Forget about the world-destroying creature in the background. Hello. How long has it been since you became stuck here? Someone could tell you it had been weeks, months, or years, and you'd believe them. It's not like you can see the sun anymore. Sometimes you forget what other people look like, the way their skin feels, how the muscles in their backs shift when you hold them. Just the thought of touching someone makes your skin crawl. You feel claustrophobic and desperate at the same time. Wrong. I'm so scared we're gonna throw the ball over the edge. That's enough. Time to go back. Park. going little buddy my little feet can't, ca uh, can't catch up hold on I'm gonna take a bit but I'll get there alrighty let's go into our little room with stars let's cook us some food get those nutrients in us you should eat something but maybe you shouldn't you only ate five minutes ago right or was it five days do you think I should eat lamb shank bark Okay, good call. You cook a meal of whatever you can find and eat it over the stove top. I'm coming. Aw, cutie. 
I'm gonna keep checking out here. I'm such a completionist. We can wait, we can still go outside. What happens if we walk all the way over here? Show room with an eye. Oh. You were a different person before this new existence. At least, you think you were. You remember feeling more, not just often, but also deeply. The emotions had names, and you could easily place them to be to the way your mind and body vibrated in the time with your heart. You can't name what you're feeling anymore, or unsure if you even are. A chasm yawns inside of you, slowly growing with each moment you spend in this in-between. You want to think of who you used to be, what you were outside of these walls. There is nothing. There is nothing left to think about. It's been so long that the things you used to miss have become lost. You try to remember the shape of them, but over time the image becomes softer and softer, washed away like regrets in the rain. But still, you try to picture the warmth of the world of her, even though each time it gets harder and harder, like tonguing a sore in your mouth. The more addictive, the more it hurts. You've forgotten the way a storm smells, how the world breathes quietly after it has passed. There is nothing else but the inside of these walls and the monster bisecting every time zone and power line of the world you used to love. You want more than anything to leave. You want more than anything to stay. You don't know which is better or which is worse. Damn. This is definitely given um, vibes of like a depressive episode when like you know you're in a depressive episode but there's like you're just too tired to do anything. You and Lamshank are used to this dance by now. You settle in together and drift to sleep. Oh. You do anything to wake up, but that isn't how this works. Don't look at the sky. The sky? What's wrong with the sky? What could have possibly happened to the sky? That's it's how? It hurts to look at. It's wrong, not made from this world, but somehow captivating all the same. Why? Maybe you're imagining things. You must be. This isn't real. This can't be real. A fever dream. Surely. If you go back inside, the world will return to normal. It has to. She'll come home and everything will be the way it always was. Oh no. What's on the radio this time? This is your public service announcement. The voice is robotic clinical and detached while the world forever changes. Do not let anyone in that comes from outside for the safety of yourself and others. We repeat, do not let anyone in from outside. No. Our homes are safe as long as we are in them. Do not let anyone in that returns from the outside. We repeat, people from the outside are displaying signs. Oh. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Perf. Predictable. Damn. You take care of the plant. You don't feel like you're there when you water it. Your hands unfamiliar, your body unfamiliar, your mind alien even, even after all this time. Coffee? You used to go to bed excited for your morning coffee. Now it's just another thing you do. Damn. I feel this. <laughs> you used to wonder when the power would turn off. You don't wonder about much of anything anymore. Bork, bork. It's time to feed the lamb shank. You fill up the food bowl. Munch, munch. Uh, go outside, I guess? It's the only option. I will. Lamb shank likes it on the balcony. You don't. Something about him shifts under the lilac sky, pushing to be free. He looks hungrier out, here, hungrier out here, more alien. Lampshank has decided it's time for fetch. Bark. All right. I mean, it looks like he does have a leaf for a tail, so I <laughs> do think he probably uh, has a different thing for light. Bark. All right, I'm coming. Let's go play some fetch with our little pup. Bark. Bark. Alrighty, here we go. Sweet. 
Sometimes you think about going outside and being done with it all. Finished. But you have lamb shank now. You won't walk down the stairs and pry the boarded doors open, fingernails catching on wood and nails as you claw yourself out. No, you'll stay here. Well, that is getting close to the edge. For however long that is. Time to go, Lamb Shank. Park. Park. What if we can go see what the exit is? If we can do anything with it yet? Probably not. He'll want to go inside. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I want to go see what the exit is. Thank you. I believe if the sign is purple, we should be able to talk about it. No, I don't think we can. Yep. Alright, let's head back. Back to our room. I'm coming, I promise. But like I said, these little legs. <laughs> there is no run button as far as I'm concerned. Time for bed? Yep. Huh? That's weird. You can hear something. Radio? Hello? What? Is anyone there? No, you're imagining things. It's not possible. It can't be. Wine. Hey, it's okay. I'm okay. Are you? Lamshank's eyes are wide, body trembling above yours, scared. I've never seen him like this before. Did the radio frighten him? Everything feels so fuzzy. You pet Lamshank, uh, running fingers down his spine, each vertebrae sharp against them. You're so tired. Uh-oh. What should you do? This is your public service announcement. People from outside are marked. They can only get in if you let them. We cannot stress this enough. Do not let her in. She will hurt you. Wait, what? What? Please let me in. She's here. She's safe. She's... Do not let them in. They will hurt you. You have to let me in. We repeat, they will hurt you. You're at the door, unable to open it, heart beating so hard you can taste blood in the back of your throat. You want to let her in, you do, but nothing feels real. Everything feels real. You try to move to open the door, but your body isn't responding. It's like watching someone else, like you're no longer there, like you're watching yourself, like someone else would watch you. Please, I'm so scared. So are you. White noise. White. You don't think you could let her in if you wanted to. Not so. The screaming starts. You are brittle and this is what breaks you. Whoa! Oh hey, we have the new closet door open. Come up, Lamb Shane, come up. Is anything real? Is anything real? Uh oh. water the plant just in case. Guess we're not gonna drink coffee today. Is anything real? Oh no. Is anything real? Bark, bark. Real or not, you need to feed lamb shank. Fill up the food bowl. Munch, munch. Uh, do I wanna go out to the balcony? Howl! Is anything real? Bark. Guess let's go play fetch. Bark. Oh no. This definitely is not a good day. Bark. Bark. Let's just continue to do the normal things, I guess. This is real. Does it mean anything? <laughs> then what's worse? That this isn't real, or that it is and means nothing at all? You can't even remember what she looked like, how she smelt, can't recall how she fit within these spaces. Time to go, Lamb Shank. 
<clears throat> that's um, the sad thing part about when people like leave your life or um, pass away usually for everyone the first thing to go is their voice and how they sound um, people tend to forget that first and so like a lot of people will save um, like voicemails and stuff from the people because usually you have photos and stuff like that but their voice tends to disappear first which is a really sad thing not a chance oh no <laughs> please eat you pull back the covers to get into bed. You're already half asleep. Attention citizens. Why? Uh oh. Attention citizens, the city has fallen. That's enough, Lampshade. In the coming months, we'll be evacuating any remaining survivors. Lampshade, we might be able to leave. Make sure to keep your radios on to receive pickup coordinates. Animals have been... Lampshade, what's wrong? Lampshade looks nervously around the room, flinches at the sound of the radio. We will tell you when it's safe to leave. Oh well. It's okay, let's go to bed. Everything's going to be okay. Oh no. I already can feel that animals have been corrupted. We're not going to be allowed to bring them. Get under the covers. For the first time, Lampshade doesn't join you. Anything but this. Oh god. You can't. You can't open it. You turn your back against the door and slide down until you're a pile on the floor. We repeat, do not let anything in. The screaming continues. On and on and... Oh no. Time passes and stops and starts. The radio cracking in and out of life, her scream softening, pleas getting weaker as the days stretch into each other. Two weeks later, the radio goes quiet. So does she. Are you alone? White noise. Nothing but the ringing in your head. Oh, I feel the typing in my ear. Somehow the silence is worse than the screaming. Green thumb. Water your plant and water your soul. Cool. Alright, let's wake up. You wake slowly. You're used to Lambshake acting as an alarm, all wagging tail and doggy kisses. He's across the room, staring out the balcony door at the sky above. Your dreams always return to her. Though each time the memory is fuzzier, worn by time. Was she even marked? You'll never know. Water the plant. Something burns in your chest, but you choke it down. Without you, the plant would die. No, you can't. Your stomach keeps turning over and over like something is trying to escape alive. You leave it, the cup strangely lonely, when filled to the brim. Coffee addiction. Drink a whole lot of coffee. <laughs> you fill the bowl, but Lambshank doesn't come running. Lambshank, food time. He ignores you. Come on, you need to eat. We're leaving today. Remember, citizens, that we have cleared the way. The pickup zone is. It's time to go. It's out here. Clam shank. Let's go. You'll never see this place again. Is that a good thing? <laughs> Buddy. What if we go play fetch one more time? Will you be okay if we go play fetch? so sad. I feel so bad. We can't even go play fetch. Oh god, we have to go to the exit, don't we? Oh, he looks so sad. Watch, the dog's gonna turn out to be her. What does leaving this place mean? What does the world look like outside these walls? Outside the city? still belong out there? With people and their soft skin, soft hands, soft hearts? Will they now be as foreign to you as the sky? There it is! The door! Come on, 
Sam Shank. There was a time where slowly, one by one, people left. There were no boards then, just a closed door with the world outside growing further and further away. You didn't see them often, the few that remained with you, but you could hear them, human sounds that hummed in the background when you least expected. You pulled down one of the boards. Hush, Lamshank. The noise had been comforting. You weren't alone. But they didn't. But they didn't last forever, and over time faded into nothing. They must have left, taking their chances in the city falling around them. Anything better than staying here, being inside, trapped like a rat in a cage, every day played out again and again until... You pulled down a second board. Bark. Lamshank, that's enough. You've never yelled at Lamshank before. Shame blooms deep in the pit of your stomach, but you can't look at him. No, know that if you see the fear and desperation in his eyes, you'll never leave. You pull down the final board. A beginning and an end, you think. You'd been the one to put them here. A reminder to never leave as a city siren song prompts an escape. You lay your hands on the door, palms sweaty against the cool glass. Lamshank, you ready? He's trembling uncontrollably, eyes darting around the room so fast they roll into the back of his head. You pull a key from your pocket, fit it into the lock, turn the handle. Oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> Lamshank lashes forward, closing his mouth on your sleeve. With a vicious yank, he pulls you backwards, away from the door. Fuck! Lamshank! Lamshank, what's going on? Every part of Lamshank looks like it's ready to fight. Lips peeled back from gleaming teeth as saliva drips from a maw, gaping impossibly open, wide enough to swallow someone whole. Lamshank. Knock, knock, knock. No. Knock, 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 knock. It can't. No! Let me go! No. We're gonna go open that door. We're going to go open that door. We are gonna go open that door. Better not. No! Uh, achievement, escape artist. Interact with the door after Lambshank pulls you away. Fuck. No! Let us out, dude! We're so close. Well, alright. Inside. You're inside again. Bark. What happened? Lampshake runs to his abandoned food. The leftovers of leftovers that you'd serve still there silent. Did it get you too? Did everyone else hear the radio? Follow its lure to the door? Bark. Munch munch. <laughs> Lampshake happily devours the food, ghostly tongue scraping the dregs from the bottom of the bowl. Thank you, Lampshake. Yep. He jumps on the spot, proud to have protected you. Really, I mean it. How old? Bark. Hold your horses. Oh, I'm guessing we were lured out there by the voice of her. Possibly go do something. And in actuality, we never did hear it. Can you just go back to this in-between life of fetching and half-consumed coffee? Is it really that easy? Nothing. Tonight, or maybe tomorrow, or maybe a week from now, you'll throw the radio from the rooftop. Lambshake was right to be afraid. Nothing. You're not sure what you expected. Alright. Let's go play fetch, I guess. Bark. Is the exit still open? <laughs> Obviously, I know it's trying to be like, hey, don't go to the exit, but... Gotta know. Now we can't even interact with it. Okay. Just intrigued a little bit. I want to know what the outside world is like. What happened. How it currently is experiencing, you know, what's going on. But you know what? Back to the basics. Let's go play some fetch with Lambshank. Bark. Bark. Let's go play some fetch. Back to the usual. You've gotten used to the the violet light beating down from above. The creature seems satisfied. If such a thing is possible. It's not ro roiling. I think it's supposed to be rolling in the 
clouds, instead breathing slowly around the tips of skyscrapers, the longest, softest breath you've ever felt vibrate through your bones. Is this it? Is this everything? Is this where you must remain? Park. Existential fetch. Play fetch for the last time. achievements are fresh air so spend some time on the balcony I'm guessing just to sit out there and then the next achievement which we would not have gotten on our first playthrough unless we didn't water our plant was neglect your plant like you neglect your life out of time so I believe we got everything um, I would consider that a good ending and yeah I have some plans to continue doing like short little let's plays of like games I've collected over the year <laughs> that I've been meaning to play and just haven't. So I think that'll be it. Uh, if you guys like this one, please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys Saturday for the next Into the Park or Through the Parks uh, video. So yeah. Bye!